Hey everyone, I'm Ashish, a second year graduate entry medical student here at the University of Limerick. In this video, I'll be taking you on a tour around the School of Medicine campus because when I was applying, I couldn't find any videos that was going to tell me more about the facilities available at this university. Um, so hopefully you find this useful. Um, I'll be walking you guys through all of the floors, each of which have been designed specifically for their purpose. Um, and you can find timestamps for uh, the whole video down below, just below the like and subscribe buttons um, in, the, in the description box. So let's get right into it. From the outside, you can see that there are four floors. There's the ground floor, the PBL floor, the anatomy and clinical skills floors, and the floor with all the offices on them. The main foyer has this massive open plan and you can see all the way up to the top of the building from inside. It's a cozy little hangout spot as well. Uh, normally we'd get coffee from the coffee dock or get some snacks from the vending machine, fill up our water bottles, or we could even just relax before class um, if we've got the time. From the foyer, you can go straight into the main lecture theatre. Um, lectures are normally held on Wednesdays for both first and second years, obviously not at the same time though. Um, and there's also another lecture theatre or a seminar room on this floor and the main offices. Going up one floor, we find the PBL rooms, and this is the main part of our learning. First and second years would have PBL on Tuesdays and Fridays, and second years would have PBL on Mondays and Thursdays. These rooms are also left open for private study outside of class time, and students can use these to revise or draw out concepts that they want to practice um, on the boards. Again, there are some couches on the floor too, a little hangout spot, as we said before, and we could be getting ready for the classes. The second floor holds the anatomy and the clinical skills rooms. Um, the anatomy rooms have lots of models that we can use in our revision. And these also have mini lectures every week um, that go with the anatomy that are re is relevant to whatever case we're studying that week. Um, a really cool resource is the anatomage table, which is kind of like a full-size electronic cadaver. There aren't any real cadavers on this course. Um, and this is kind of like the replacement for that. Um, and because it's electronic, we can kind of remove uh, different parts or dissect it or um, kind of manipulate the table and manipulate the model as, like, as we'd like. And everything's labeled as well, so we can kind of just tap anything. And we can test ourselves, like we tap one thing and is that the brachial artery? Maybe, we'll find out. And as you could have probably guessed, the anatomy rooms have their own little couches as well. And finally, we come on to the clinical skills section. It's a corridor with lots of labs on both sides. Um, and they've got their own examination couches inside where we practice different examinations on each other, we do the abdo exam on another, or a knee exam, or whatever we'd be doing. We're practicing these rooms with each other. Um, and obviously, we've got the clinical skills sections, we need some clinical skills couches as well. Anatomy and clinical skills are usually held for first years on the Monday and Thursday, so the only two days they have left, um, and for second years, on Tuesday and Friday, the second year, the only days that we have left. Um, and that's basically all of our contact hours each week. And outside the building, we've got this large open space with the pavilion and the sports pitches on one side. We've got the Quigley residences on one side and make sure to check out my video about the Quigley residences and what it's like to live there. We've got the Irish World Academy, kind of like a music building on one side as well. The fourth side would be Gems building, or the Somme building, School of Medicine building. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video gave you a little insight into what facilities we have in the School of Medicine building. Uh, comment down below what video you'd like me to make in the future. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!